Hello. Hello there, ma'am. This is Ron calling from GoBank. Uh-huh. Um, you put in a report here about your lost debit card. Is this the correct person? Yes, but I already talked to somebody last night, and they're shipping me one out. Right. That's the reason that I'm calling. Um, we're not going to be able to ship you a new debit card, unfortunately. Uh, we're now using the smartphone app only for payments. So you're going to have to use your the, the card app on your phone. So it was just a courtesy call. Yeah, it's just a courtesy call to let you know that we're not sending the cards anymore. Okay, how do you do that? How do you use a card on your phone? So what you have to do is you have to go, uh, first of all, do you have Microsoft Paint on your computer? Microsoft Paint on the computer? Yeah, make a note of this. You have to draw. Know. You have to draw what you want the card to look like, and you have to write in the numbers, which will be emailed over to you through the cloud, and then you'll be able, then you'll have a card on the screen. You send that over from the Microsoft Paint onto the smartphone, and then you just hold that up when you want to make a payment. Does that make sense? Okay. Wait. Can you? No, can you explain that to my husband? Because I don't know, understand the word you said. Hold on. I certainly can, bitch. All right, go ahead. Hello there, sir. Ron calling from GoBank. How are you doing today? Okay. Um. So how can I help you? Yeah, you were explaining something to my wife about using the Microsoft Word. Yeah, so we've transferred over to a digital-only system now, so we won't be sending your wife a new card, okay? You'll just be using okay. the smart the smartphone app, okay? Okay. She already has a, a GoBank app. Uh-huh. Uh, does she need to download a different app? Yeah, so what you'll need to do, first of all, is design your card in Microsoft Paint or any other digital... Uh, painting app. You have to design how you want the card to look and you have to draw on the numbers as they would appear on a real card. And then once you've sent that over to the app for verification, you'll be able to start using your new virtual GoBank card. Okay? Okay. Is there any way can you send a link to yeah. No. No, it's all... For, for security, we wouldn't be able to send out a link. Um, I can fax you over some instructions if that would help. Uh, if you could go ahead and give me your fax number. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We're not in an office. We're not at home where we have a, access to a fax. I understand. Do you have a pager at all? Um, we got a, a cell phone where you can text. I don't know if it would be compatible with a, a cell phone for security reasons. Um, the only way we can send the link out because it is a secure link would be, I'm just going down the list here, um, we can send it by fax, we can send it by a uh, pager, we can page you. Um, let me see yeah, here. here. Um, we can write a letter to you, but for security reasons, we'd have to send one letter with half of your password, and then another letter a year later with the other half of the password. And that is for security that reasons. Yes, that is for security reasons. Uh, if you're unable to comprehend the app. Right. Is there, give me a number where I can reach you or your company. Um, the number that I'm calling from on your caller ID is the corporate office number. Um, I can right, give we'll you, you. We'll call back. But I can give you another number if you'd like to speak to a supervisor or anybody like that. Are they in the same facility where you're located? They are the corporate uh, office call center. Okay, they oversee everything. Would you like their number just in case? Yeah. Their number would be 712. 712. 432. 432. And once you call that number to get straight through to the right department, if you press 777-112 on your phone, 
you will be immediately connected to a supervisor. One, one, two. All right, can I ask you one more question? You certainly can. Where are you located? I'm located here in the corporate call center, sir, at corporate. Where? What do you mean, sir? I don't understand the question. Yeah. State, city, country. I'm, I'm in the United States in California, sir, right? Are you a racist? No, I was just asking, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of spoofs about a scam going on. Well, how would I be scamming you, sir? I've just told you not to give me any information. All right. There's, okay. There's no, there's no need to get into that. Okay. Well, sir, if you're worried about some fraud, or uh, I'm hearing a lot of strange uh, questions here. I'm going to go ahead and put a security lock on the account just to be sure. Okay, so your account will now be locked from all debits and transactions, and that is for your security, okay? All right. Hello? Hello there, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, hi. Why are we're, you gonna put a lock on my? Why are you gonna put a lock on my account? You're that's we're, we're, my money now. You, you've you've put a strange unknown male individual on the telephone who's asking no, some very put, strange, strange, asking some very strange questions about our call center and talking about some kind of fraud taking place. Um, so we have decided to okay, lock no, down the account for we, your security. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma'am, yep, and he made some inappropriate remarks about my ethnicity before going on to talk about how he was committing okay. some kind of fraud. Hey, shut up. Okay, shut up. You don't talk it. over me. Shut, up, hey, shut up, bitch. Pull up, bitch. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I think that worked. <laughs> Got her going.